President and Rector, my Lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Postgraduate Graduation Day 2014. <laughs> now we sit here today to celebrate to celebrate the fantastic achievement of postgraduate students at the college in all of their endeavors. Yet in doing so, may today's graduates also acknowledge that not only do you have the enormous potential to contribute towards taking mankind forward, but that you also shoulder the burden of expectation created by the achievement of those who came before you. In future years, yours will be the shoulders that future graduates stand upon. Gloriat Collegium Imperiali. God save the Queen. Chair, members of court and council, honorary graduates, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Today is one of the most important days in the Imperial College calendar, where we celebrate the extraordinary success of our postgraduates. 2,700 of the finest postgraduates anywhere will receive degrees in front of 6,000 parents and supporters. It's my great pleasure to welcome our guests, your parents and supporters, to this ceremony. Firstly, I should congratulate you, our graduates, on your great success. The completion of your postgraduate degree puts you at the pinnacle of higher education achievement worldwide. Each of you in the course of your study has been, a, has been at the frontier of your subjects. You've pushed, tested, and in many cases moved the boundaries of knowledge and achieved new levels of understanding. The full impact of your achievements and success will only now unfold down the years as your careers develop further. As you graduate now from Imperial College you and become alumni, you'll become part of that community that I've been privil privileged to meet over the years I've been in this job around the world. Some of our very distinguished alumni are back here today. But over the decades, our alumni have generated networks and chapters across many generations around the world that now is available for you to plug into. The alumni of Imperial are its greatest ambassadors. It's their achievements, it's your achievements, that have made Imperial into a global university with global reach and global impact. It's the generous support of our alumni that have helped so many of you and others across Imperial College in their study and in their research. You will meet many alumni on, a, on your travels. I have no doubt you'll be inspired by them, as you in turn will inspire those that follow you. You're amongst the most able and best equipped anywhere, and your successes will inspire the next generation. Thank you again to parents, friends, and supporters that have come here to make this what I think for the graduates, for our visitors, and the university, a truly memorable day. Thank you very much indeed. Masters of Science, Masters of Research, and Diplomats of Imperial College London from the Center for Environmental Policy, Teresa Goudon. Federica Maria Alberta Ma Amato. Meryl Anderson, 
Eleni Agelonidi. Rasha Ayub Agha. Awarded the Ross McCook Memorial Law Prize, Christopher Baldock. James Beerley. Christopher Beeland. Andrew Black. Ashanti Bleich. Hey, Claire. Awarded the BP Prize in Strategic Thinking, Claire Bradbury. Mark Brightwell. Joshua Burke. Lang Chen Chen. Chi Kyong Chao. Philippa Coates. Joseph Cole. Hey, Maddie. Matt Kosad. Jessica Cresswell. Rida Dahar. Antonina Davidenko. Stacy Domialski. Edwak and if York Edwak. Ian Erskine. Awarded the Environmental Resources Management Prize, Alexander Falls. Anna Georgieva, Yulia Giannini, Morgan Gillespie, Rebecca Gray, Thanushan Ganubalasingam, Daniel Hadidwan, Michael Hemsley, Mate Hodek, James Hubbard, awarded the URS Prize, Roberta Eiley, <laughs> Stephanie Junka Atal, Christina Katara, Christopher Carrison. Derek Ko, Katsuhiro Kurumi, Rachel Jody Lahan, Samora Levy, Chen Fan Yu, Emma Lupton, Sophie Lyons. Jacqueline Machen. Lawan Maina. Nick Malone. Justin Mears. Awarded the Scott Wilson Prize, Douglas Miller. <laughs> Mene Moninwinya. Charles Node, Kiara O'Callaghan, Harriet O'Brien, Rosalind O'Driscoll, Yelena Ortega Mucucci, Holly Page. Karina Commandant. Lisa Papadopoulou. Awarded the Akatis Water Management Prize, Kleoniki Petru. Awarded the Veolia Environmental Services Prize, Helen Pico.
awarded the Susan Pritchard Memorial Prize, Jan Pribe. Elena Quiroga Fernandez. Arpita Raxit. Karina Rose. Michaela Rose. Josimar Senior. Diana Silva Sarmiento. Megan Smith. Alexandra Sobieshek. Pacharapun Sutsakorn. Rosemary Stewart. Rachel Stonehouse. Hongju Su. Gular Tagieva. Yi Feng Tan Lo. Sandra Tengren. Sarah Thompson. Gail Verdi. Yao Wang. John Williams. Amelia Womack. James Wood Segura. <laughs> Kenny Young. Katrina Young. Roberto Zanchi. Awarded the Charlotte Rich Memorial Prize for Water and Waste Management Francis Casey. <laughs> Awarded the BP Creative Solutions for a Better World Prize, George Dara. <laughs> Michael Floyd. Leah Worrell. Weng Sheng Zhu, Timothy Saunders, Antonia Weitzer, Masters of Philosophy, Doctors of Philosophy, and Diplomats of the Imperial College London from the Center for Environmental Policy, Eric Chavez, Alexandra Collins, Benoit Dish, Katrin Glatzel, Carmina Yorquera. Atun Manap, Utsoma Oike, Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to bring today's proceedings to a close not least because we're all quite tired of shaking hands, <laughs> although it's been a very great pleasure to do so. What I'm wishing to do now is to say a number of thank yous. This is the last ceremony of the day, which has been a very special day for many people. And I'd like to start by thanking all those who've helped organize it, getting all of you here in order, in your seats, onto the stage and off is not a trivial piece of organization. And I think we should all, first of all, thank 
those who've organized such a wonderful celebration of your success. The second thank you goes to our, our musicians and the trumpeter. I think the president and rector, who's had the trumpet in his left ear three times today, may be temporarily deaf for a short time. But it was great to have the music to keep us swinging along. And I'd like very much to thank the musicians who always play so well for us. My third thank you is to the people sitting on tiers behind me who have supervised you, taught you, guided, tried to help you. And I think that they have found that probably very enjoyable, occasionally frustrating, occasionally difficult. But I think you, I suggest, owe all of them a thanks for what they've done to help you to be here today. So I'd like to thank them. The next people to thank are the people ranged round the edge of the Albert Hall who are not part of today's ceremony, but your families and your friends, without whose support, financial and otherwise, guidance and help, very few of you would be here today. And I think, as the President and Rector said in his opening speech, we ought formally to acknowledge their help and also to thank them for the support you have given to the whole university by being here today. So thank you for coming, and thank you for your support to your families. And my final thanks is to the graduands. You, most of you were kind enough not to grip my hand too tightly. Uh, we've been comparing notes, those of us who shake hands. The, the engineers are the worst. Um, <laughs> but you were really quite kind. But we really want to thank you because you are what makes this great university. You, the people who come to study here, commit yourselves to working here, achieve what you've achieved today and what we hope you will achieve in the future in the, whatever you do next in your lives. We are very proud of you and we hope that you go on being proud of your time at Imperial and will come back and see us as often as you're able to. Thank you all very much and have a lovely evening.
sit here today to celebrate, to celebrate the fantastic achievement of postgraduate students at the college in all of their endeavors. Yet in doing so, may today's graduates also acknowledge that not only do you have the enormous potential to contribute towards taking mankind forward, but that you also shoulder the burden of expectation created by the achievement of those who came before you. In future years, yours will be the shoulders that future graduates stand upon. Gloriat Collegium Imperiali. God save the Queen. President and Rector, my Lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Postgraduate Graduation Day 2014. <laughs> Chair, members of court, and Council, honorary graduands, graduands, ladies and gentlemen. Today is one of the most important days in the Imperial College calendar, where we celebrate the extraordinary success of our postgraduates. 2,700 of the finest postgraduates anywhere will receive degrees in front of 6,000 parents and supporters. It's my great pleasure to welcome our guests, your parents and supporters, to this ceremony. Firstly, I should congratulate you, our graduates. 